Earthlings and welcome back to another American Girl doll video on my channel. Um, sorry, that was a weird intro. Anyways, um, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make the ponytail veil hairstyle on your American Girl doll. I've been getting a lot of questions on Instagram, by a lot, I mean like three, on how to do this hairstyle. It's very simple. I taught myself how to do it on Pinterest because Pinterest is where I go to for a lot of hairstyle ideas. I will put a link down below to my Pinterest account so you can see all my boards and stuff and where I, where I pin all the hairstyles that I use inspiration from and all that so you guys can get some ideas as well. The ponytail veil hairstyle is a hairstyle that I recommend for the straight hair type and it's a very good uh, it's a very good hairstyle for dolls with shorter hair as well just because shorter hair dolls there's not much you can really do on their hair so it may feel like that you can't really do much with them but of course it is kind of more illustrious when you use dolls with longer hair see right here I have Joss girl of the year of 2020 so her hair is very layered and thin but because it's longer so just because of the way that her part is, it, it changes the ponytail veil. So the ponytail veil hairstyle is very dependent on the part of the doll's hair. See, her part is off center. So there's more hair on this side of her head than there is on this side. But it's a very good hairstyle to pull back and show off her hearing aid. Although it, her wig is very thin, like I said, so you do see her wig cap when you pull it back. But, like I said, it depends on the doll's hair type and her part. Anakai here, who, we, who will be our <laughs> guinea pig for all intents and purposes, um, has a center part. She has layered straight hair that is long and natural highlights. And because it's layered, um, of course there are certain parts where maybe part of her head won't be able to go back into all the ponytails but um you know her layers are a lot different from joss's but um if i were to sit here and show you what it's like on every type of doll hair it would <laughs> it would take a long time a doll that i like to do the hairstyle on a lot is miss mckenna right here because her hair um, when you have a centered part doll like my number 60 Anakai right here is, when it's centered, you usually have to pull it back on both sides to make it so. See, for Joss, because she has a lot of hair on one side, but her, her, her part is off center, that just means that you might get away with going back once, going back once at the beginning, but... Like I said, it depends on what doll you're doing. I like to do it most on McKenna because she doesn't have a part at all. So her hair just flows back from the front and to my knowledge, she's the only doll like that as of now. So the first thing you're gonna need is a Mr. Spray Bottle. So I use the doll brand ones, I use the American Girl ones, and I have a backup, our generation one. Um, the our generation one does hold more but this one does have a lighter mist, so really it's kind of up to whatever you have. It really doesn't matter. But if you don't have a misting spray bottle, I suggest that if you do have to use a normal spray bottle to make sure that it has a misting setting. Usually this is done by turning the, part, the spritzer. By turning the spritzer from left to right on a normal spray bottle, you can get a misting setting. You do not want to spray water straight at your doll's hair. You wanna make sure it's misting. You don't wanna get the hair too wet because that can cause the hair to dry up and be all frizzy. But you see, Anakai's hair is still all nice and shiny and new. It's a little frizzy right now because I haven't brushed through it. But it's just, I've done, I've kept her hair this way by not really spraying her hair much at all. So usually abstaining from spraying it is helpful. But if you have to get the hairs together more, then you use a mister. The next thing you're going to need is a wire rig hairbrush. These are usually intended to be dolls, doll hairbrushes or any run-of-the-mill hairbrush 
that has wired wig um, bristles on it. So they're very specific. You do not want to make sure that they're, they're, the bristles are too big. And you do not want a, a brush that have, has been used on human hair. Because the natural oils found in your hair can have, do a number on your doll's hair. Because it's not real hair, so it's not good for them. So if you're using a doll hairbrush, make sure it's wire wicked. I don't suggest having really big bristles and make sure it's never been used on human hair before. As you can see, I have American Girl brands brand tools as well, which, I mean, you can't go wrong with those, but the Our Generation one is really second best in my book, um, just because, I don't know, it's just very similar, you see. So really, you can use whatever one you want, as long as it's the right standard pieces. <laughs> And of course, you're going to need some plastic hair ties. They can be colored, they can be whatever, but um, if you don't start off using these hair pieces, um, the hairstyle may turn out a little, a little strange using actual um, hair ties, like, you know, um, like these you see in the bag right here. Using those for this, for the beginning part of this hairstyle, will not prove to work out very well for you. So, of course, when you're done, you can add in as many hair accessories as you want, but I suggest that when you're starting off, you use the plastic hair ties. The lighting was a little wonky, so we moved down here so that you can see the details of the hairstyle steps much better. First thing you want to do, um, I do suggest having either an American Girl doll stand or hairstyling chair to keep them held in place pretty well. Um, so the first thing you want to do, um, depending on the state of your doll's hair, you want to spritz it, but you don't want to be too close. So you want to be further back and spritz it from like a fair distance. She has fairly shiny hair, so her hair does not need a lot of assistance. Then we're going to go in with our wire wig brush and gently brush from the bottom, slowly working up. And if you come up, if you feel any knots in their hair, you do not want to just pull it through. If you feel a knot, you want to stop, roll the brush out, and then start from the knot going down. You don't, you don't want to go right through any tangles. That is usually um, how you end up with split ends in your doll's hair. Um, Cause I've had Anna Kai since 2016 and her hair still looks like when I first got her. To start off on the ponytail veil hairstyle, what you're gonna do, because she's got a center part, we're going to start from two at the side, so kind of like a sides back hairstyle. So what we're gonna do is she's got kind of, like her hair usually likes to sit and frame her face, but you wanna make sure that you don't have too much hair in the ponytails because they're meant to be small. Now we've done the two front ponytails. Now it does look a little strange because the hairstyle is not done yet. You've just done the first step. So now we're going to brush the hair again. Okay, so the next step of this hairstyle involves the ponytails themselves. So make sure you grab them. Now, then after this part, the part where you do the, the foundation of the ponytail veil, um, there's a lot that you could do um, at this point. So I'm gonna basically show you a basic variation <laughs> of this hairstyle. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna split these ponytails into two parts. I'm, I'm just showing you a basic version of this. Of course, when you're more comfortable with this hairstyle and you know what you're doing, you can try any variation that you want, get creative with it. I usually um, have gone, have gotten a lot of different variations of the ponytail veil simply by following the technique of the veil hairstyle. So we're going to combine these two ponytails in the, in the middle. Okay, so once you've combined them in the middle, there's a couple different things you can do. Now, you could 
technically. Do another ponytail on the side and combine it in with this. But what we're just gonna do for the sake intents of purposes of this being the beginning, the beginning of your adventures with the ponytail veil hairstyle. We're, we're just gonna pull a strand of hair back from her hairline and join it to the remaining ponytail right here. So we're going to make a ponytail right here. And we will do the same on the other side. You usually do want the ponytails to be spaced out, but like I said, I'm just showing you a simple version. And so this way the, the, the hair ties are kind of all lined up anyway. So that'll make it easier. Okay, so now we're gonna go through with our comb and make sure that there's nothing stuck in the hair ties that we do not want to be. Anyone familiar with hair knows that that happens when you do ponytails anyway. There's a lot over here. Just be careful that you're not ripping the hair like out of her head. Because it won't grow back obviously, so. Whew. So, depending on the size of our ponytails now, we could split them and keep branching off. But what I think we could do here, like I said, there are many variations of the ponytail veil, and by now you should probably be seeing. But see, we could join these, but the problem is that one ponytail would be too large. You don't want it to be too large at the very end of it. So what we're going to do is split them again. Now they're probably pretty small at this point. So you don't want to put too much. Like you want to balance the strands when you join them together. See these two and these two sides will be joined to the ponytail there, and these two ends will be joined to sides on at her hairline. All right, so we've tied off that ponytail and now we're going to combine another one in the middle here with this one. And we will do the same on the other side. There are some strands that stick out. That cannot be helped. That is just her hair type because layers mean that certain strands of hair are shorter than others. So it's basically like having bangs all over your head. <laughs> so now we're going to put this last strand and connect it on the side with this ponytail, which also has layers, fun fun. Sometimes it's very easy to just put your doll's sides back and then suddenly find yourself doing a very intricate um, ponytail veil because it's very easy and once you know how to do it, it's, it's effortless really. And of course, as you notice, I'm using a lot of hair ties. So, once I started doing, I, once I started doing this, ah, <laughs> it broke. Now we are going to add in a strand from the hairline for the very last time because we are pulling away from the hairline now that we have reached that certain point in the, the veil. And notice by following the patterns of the ponytails, strangely, the hair ties are all lined up. See, we've got these two on the top, we've got these three in the middle, and then we've got these four on the bottom. It won't always turn out that way because, because there are many different variations of the hairstyle. But like, see, I'm not following any guide. I'm not following any reference or pictures. You know, I could show you the entire area around me. There is nothing I'm looking at. And this is just how it turned out because I know how to do the hairstyle and it's just part of the process. Now we're going to be combining these four together. So we're going to combine these two with each other, like so, and then we'll do the same on the other side. Now you may notice that there are a lot of strands sticking out here. Just That's just because my doll is layered hair, so the further down I go on her head, the more hairs will stick out, because she has more layers towards the bottom of her hair. Um, 
So I don't recommend doing it with dolls with layered hair. Then again, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, so now we've got two ponytails at the end here. And we're just going to combine them like so. So as you can see, this is what the actual veil turns out to be. Once you have experimented with it, it's very easy to make it lead into hairstyles like I showed you on Joss. Joss, her version of the ponytail veil, led into a pony, two ponytails. So as you can see, it can lead into ponytails. Um, it doesn't look great when you lead it in with braids, but um, you know, whatever you want to do to each their own. Um, the ponytail veil premise is usually all about the top of their head. Um, it's very easy to lead it into one hair, to one ponytail, two ponytails, or to just do the veil like this. There are so many different variations of it. There are so many different variations of it and so much fun to be had. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, this tutorial. If you would like a second part to it, I can show you how to do it more depth, I guess, I mean, um, but if you have any questions, let me know down below, like I said.